Hey guys, today we're driving the 2023 Ford F-150 Raptor R. Finally getting a chance to get behind the wheel of this. Today we're going to be giving you some first impressions on what this is like to drive on the street. We'll be doing a bunch of different videos on this this week. We're taking it off road this weekend and I'll wrap up some thoughts after everything, all the seat time and uh, give you guys some idea of what this has been like to live with. But today, let's give you guys some basics. 5.2 liter supercharged V8 taken out of the Shelby GT500. That engine's made it to a 10 speed automatic. We have 37 inch tires, an extra 250 horsepower from this V8 over the standard twin turbo EcoBoost Raptor. And it only weighs 210 pounds more than the base Raptor with the V6, which is pretty good. 250 more horsepower, 210 more pounds of weight. Uh, it's fast. It's really, really quick on the street. Feels faster than a Ram TRX. Um, this is really what the Raptor should have been for quite a while. And I've got to say, it really, really does deliver. As you can notice, it's sleeting. So we're going to hop inside, start this up. We'll show you around this a little bit, but mostly this is going to be a driving video. A lot of the same features and pretty much everything that we get in the standard Raptor. Some more carbon fiber, contrast stitching, uh, really nice Raptor R logos in the seats and center console here. Ford's had to beef up some components to handle the extra power from this 5.2 liter supercharged V8. We have a beefier drive shaft, some chassis points. Uh, the engine weighs about 100 pounds more, so they've changed some spring rates and things. But for the most part, the suspension's carried over from the standard Raptor. Uh, we'll have to pop that hood to show you that V8 because it looks really, really good in there. Really nice interior in this F-150. I mean, you've got pretty much everything you need. Lots of physical controls, nice big sync system. Uh, one cool thing that I just noticed is that you can expand CarPlay now to fill the full screen. That's probably a CarPlay update. Uh, but of course, wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, that's standard. Uh, you've got your shifter that you can hide down here and make this into a flat floor. Have your burger, do your work, whatever you need. Nice big paddle shifters behind the wheel. They sound good, they feel nice. We've got our R mode right there that you can press and save and uh, store different settings in. Here's what the exhaust sounds like in normal mode. We also have Sport, a little bit louder, and of course Baja, which is uh, off-road only. Give you a little taste of that. It gets even louder. And then there's Quiet mode, which is completely silent. Okay, maybe not completely silent, but from inside, it's pretty quiet. b &O sound system, tons of room in the back seats. Again, fold these up, configure them in different ways, have some storage underneath. Big panoramic sunroof, leg room for days, heated rear seats too. Nice looking graphics package on this Raptor too. Look at this exhaust. Black down tips. Great engineering here from Ford in all aspects. Standard F-150 truck bed back here. I mean, we've walked you around the F-150 Raptor a few different times over the years. This is all familiar territory. Let's pop the hood, show you this engine, and then we'll take this for a drive. Look at that, supercharged 5.2 liter V8. It makes a great noise. You can hear just a little bit of supercharger whine at light throttle and it pulls like a maniac. It's so fast. Uh, I've driven this a little bit, but you guys are gonna be getting some fresh first impressions from me today. Love the R accents, the logos, this hood vent up top. I mean, this is a proper looking Raptor. <laughs> Lots of little eights in this graphics package right here. Blacked out front end. Reddish, orangish toe points up front, recovery points. Of course, this comes standard with the 37 inch tires. 
weighs 5,950 pounds. All right, off we go. We have a bunch of different drive modes, just like we do in the standard Raptor. Normal, sport, tow haul, slippery, which we might engage later today, and of course a lot of different off-road modes. We'll start off in normal, leave it in rear-wheel drive, and then uh, switch things up from there. I've been so excited to drive this Raptor because honestly, this is my favorite truck. I would buy one of these if I had the space in my garage, the budget, and uh, I could live with driving something around that this, that's this big. Uh, this would just be one of my favorite daily drivers. It borders on luxury vehicle. It's so comfortable, so well appointed. The features are awesome. The tech is really well done. And the capability here you get sports car handling off-road. You can take this thing anywhere it'll fit. It's just an amazing, amazing vehicle to live with and drive. It's super comfortable. The Bronco Raptor was a lot of fun, but it kind of lacked a little bit of refinement and comfort, especially in terms of NVH, just because the Bronco is kind of loud inside. You can take everything apart. That's not the case here with this F-150. It's a bit more refined. And you're gonna pay for that refinement. It costs $109,000 starting MSRP. So a few options, you're getting over 110 grand, but you gotta to pay to play. And I think there's really nothing else that competes with this except for the Ram TRX. And I don't know, on first impressions, I'm enjoying this Raptor quite a bit more than I was in the TRX. The ride is better, it feels a little bit more nimble. The chassis development is far superior than the T-Rexes, at least on the road, in my opinion, and it feels faster. So we, uh, we'll make some more judgments here. I mean, you kind of can't go wrong with a T-Rex too, considering that's about $20,000 less expensive than this Raptor, but I don't know, I think a lot of people have been waiting for this V8 for a long time. Ford finally delivered, and this is what we've all been waiting for. Got my heated steering wheel going, heated seats, climate. We've got three auto fan speed settings. <laughs> Traction control off. It's already getting a little icy out there. <laughs> Lots more hooning to come with the F-150 Raptor off-road. So smooth, the power delivery is awesome. There's tons of torque at the low end. 75, 80 miles an hour, wind noise is barely noticeable. You can hear a slight growl from these BFG KO2s underneath you. No vibrations, no shakes, no rattles. Massive panoramic sunroof to look out of. Steering's pretty light too. This thing just eats up the miles. Let's go into sport mode, show you what a quick highway pull looks like here. much power the front end just lifts up like a Baja truck even in sport mode with the suspension just a little bit stiffer it rolls around a little bit and it's just so much fun to drive 
Steering weight's up quite a bit in sport mode too. Easily engage our cruise control. Lane keeping system. There we go, you gotta wait for a, wait a second for it to engage. Exhaust sounds awesome, no drone on the highway. And then like I said, so here's sport mode, here's quiet. Completely turns off, goes fully silent, which is just great. A lot of gears with this 10 speed. If you want full control, you can lock it into manual mode and just use the paddles. We might play around with that just a little bit here. Super close ratios. Zero to 60 in under four seconds. How crazy is that? Spinning all fours, and there's 60. Didn't break torque it, just matted it, and we were off. Four wheel drive auto does a great job putting power down. And we'll leave traction off for a little bit. We are in four wheel drive. Sound is just wicked. There is no more wanting for power here with this Raptor. It delivers. my mind this is about perfect exactly what I wanted a Raptor like this to be sound like to feel like Ford's done a really nice job here the only thing that probably isn't perfect is the price it's expensive but man what a package Differences between this and the Ram TRX. Off the line, it's not as brutal and immediate. Part of that's probably to save some drivetrain components too. It sounds good, maybe not as good as the Ram TRX, but it's pretty darn close. The chassis development, the suspension tuning here, I think is far superior to what the TRX has to offer. The ride is better. The handling is better. It feels lighter, a bit more nimble. The T-Rex is big and heavy. The 
there really is a whole lot to like about this new Raptor R. I'm excited to explore it some more this week and give you guys some more impressions on what it's like to drive off-road. Only thing I don't really care for too much, and this is just a, an F-150 thing, this shifter just feels so cheap. And it's probably just because the mechanism retracts and goes down and folds flat. And that's cool, that's a neat feature. I guess, I mean, if you're using this as a work truck, that's awesome, because you can just turn this into a table. And I gotta say, that is really useful. But it would be nice if they just improved the mechanism of this just a little bit. This doesn't feel like a $80,000, $50,000, $110,000 quality shifter that you interact with on a pretty regular basis. Otherwise though, paddle shifters, everything else was pretty nice in this F-150. I like the carbon fiber accents too, that's a nice touch. Okay, there you go guys. First impressions of the new Raptor are, we'll leave it at that for now. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I also like how when you start it up, it asks if you want to return to sport mode. That's pretty cool.